Hello, I'm Tom Williams from the Fort Huachuca Public Affairs Office, and this is your Fort Report. Fort Huachuca held a listening session to hear what the local community thinks about upcoming Army force reductions and restructuring that may affect the Southern Arizona Post. The acting commanding general of the Intelligence Center in Fort Huachuca explained the restructuring and said the changes, for the most part, will affect military units called Brigade Combat Teams, also known as BCTs. The Budget Control Act of 2011 uh, requires the Army to realign its force structure, reducing its active component by 80,000 soldiers. However, um, that's at its max, okay? Really, the impact right now, because we're at 540 people, faces in the Army, it's only about 50,000 from this point forward. So that's first of all. Um, so, and it's primarily focused on the eight BCTs, and we don't have any BCTs here at Fort Huachuca, so that's first of all. Okay, so the impact is more indirect with the intel soldiers that are assigned to the BCTs. Uh, primarily, the impact is the soldiers that would be going here for training and the throughput. The garrison commander then made remarks. Principally, what the Army wants to do is hear your feedback. It's a transparent process because the Army recognizes the potential impact to any community. Again, I think, as Colonel St. Vic mentioned, the impact of Fort Huachuca is not going to be that great, but we still want to hear from you. A variety of leaders from government, infrastructure providers, and business then spoke. The governor understands the Army and the Department of Defense have difficult decisions to make over the next few years. But it is important to remember that Fort Huachuca best fulfills the expected mission and responsibilities of the Army, taking into consideration environmental, operational, technical, and other factors. The evidence is indisputable, especially when comparing costs for construction, availability of open land, and an ideal climate for testing, electronic, and communications equipment. A representative from the Department of the Army's Plans and Operations was present and will pass the information up to the Pentagon level so DA leadership will be able to consider community concerns before final restructuring decisions are made. In other news, command of B Troop, 4th U.S. Cavalry Memorial was assumed at a ceremony on Brown Parade Field on Fort Huachuca. The commander of U.S. Army Garrison Fort Huachuca, Colonel Dan McFarland, passed the unit's guide on to Navy Commander Troy Wilcox. Colonel McFarland then spoke. Although Troy is neither the first Navy person to join B Troop, nor is he the first helicopter pilot to join, he is the first Navy helicopter pilot to join B Troop and the first Naval officer to command it. Sir, we're honored by your service. And the new commander of B Troop addressed the gathering. Colonel McFarland, I want to thank you for the opportunity to lead and this trust and confidence you've placed in me uh, and continue to represent the heritage and traditions of Fort Huachuca in the U.S. Army. The Navy won't let you down, sir. The new B Troop commander then led his first charge across Brown Parade Field. That'll do it for this edition of the Fort Report. Have a great day.